I think he's outstanding. <laughs> Polar vortex. Almost sounds like something good, right? <laughs> Nineteen fifty seven is a long time ago. And Eagles, I need to tell you how honored I am to be with you tonight and of the strange places where God has put me during the last <clears throat> 65 years, uh, one of the most unique and most honored is this moment right now. I have a secret to tell you <clears throat> that they kept on saying it ought to be evident why you're going to be part of this. And the only reason that I shared the information with those who asked for it, that you just heard some of, is because I need to remind you that you are remarkably gifted. I mean, I looked around the room and I, I read the Eagle Projects, and what remarkable people you are. And um, the secret of life may in part be found here. The skills that you have learned now are the skills that you will use then. You have no idea what doors will open before you, what opportunities will greet you, what chances for good you will have, what opportunities for leadership will raise you up and make you stronger and teach you new things. What you have learned in the process of becoming an eagle will stand you a lifetime. And I salute you. You're terrific, and thank you for doing that. You were helped. I run around with a bunch of people who wear gold and silver tabs that people like to collect. Those aren't the important colors in scouting. So if you're a scout leader and you wear blue or green or red or brown, would you stand up so we can thank you because you're the folks who make this program work. So scout leaders, Mentors, young women. The people who uh, end up running around with silver and gold, let me tell you a secret. They're your support staff. We only exist so that the program at the unit level can succeed. And we're entirely dedicated to that. And frankly, given my schedule, I'm jealous of you because you're at the point of delivery. What you do makes a lifetime of distance difference for, for a young man. <clears throat> and uh, we are deeply grateful as a national movement, as a region, as a council, for the time and effort that you put in, especially when that phone rings at 11 o'clock at night and you rise to the occasion there to support somebody who needs your, your wit and your wisdom, and uh, thank you. Then, if you want to have a treat when you go home, Google the phrase, a century of honor. And when you Google a century of honor, you're going to find a program that was done by the Mormon Church for the 100th anniversary of its relationship with the Boy Scouts of America. And well into the beginning, there is a clip about an Eagle Scout and his relationship with his mother who hounded him into getting an Eagle. And the song goes, my mother earned the Eagle and they gave the badge to me. <laughs> well, <clears throat> mom and dad, you had a lot to do and are taking a great deal of pride with the young man who just stood up, eagles all, and once an eagle, always an eagle. Why don't you stand up and let us salute you, moms and dads. that we all know that this is a fun program and it's cleverly wrapped in the out of doors. And every now and then, it's helpful to remember this. The mission of the Boy Scouts of America, its purpose is to prepare young people to make ethical choices over their lifetime by instilling in them the values of the Scout Oath and Scout Law. How do we develop? character, citizenship, and fitness, it takes a community, 
and the community is gathered here and the community is gathered around a group of young people who have excelled and whom we all salute. So once more, Eagles stand up so all the rest of us can say once more to you, you did well, bring it forward. Thanks for your example, guys. Now I'm gonna remember very quickly, I'm gonna say thank you to three people without whom I wouldn't be here. They're Whit Brady, Warren Gorman, and Gene Lang, my dad. None of you knew any of them. I still am in touch with Warren Gorman. They were my scoutmasters. Very important people, and I get to say thank you to them tonight. I also, for over cl well, close to 25 years, have been on the board of directors of this local Boy Scout Council with an outstanding group of people, many of whom have been there as long or longer than I've been there. And uh, they are esteemed in my mind. I've never met a more dedicated group of people for whom it's a greater honor to work with. And we have a professional staff, and I can testify this because of where I travel most of the time, that is second to none in America. When our board of directors and our professional staff please stand up so we can say thank you. Okay, here it comes. Three or four short thoughts. One, always an eagle, once an eagle, always an eagle. Once you're an eagle, wherever you go, whatever you do, remember you're an eagle. My mom used to say when we were leaving the house in the morning, remember you're a lang. Now that's one thing, remember you're an eagle and everybody around you knows it. When we pin the badge on you, you did it the old fashioned way, you earned it. And when you earned it, you made a statement about your character, about your leadership, about your ability. And the qualities that it took for you to become an eagle, you're going to carry forward. For instance, did you know that 63% of the graduates of the Air Force Academy are an 68% of West Point graduates are. 70% and the largest NISA chapter in America are at Annapolis and they are. 85% of FBI agents are. 85% of airline pilots currently licensed are. 65% of the United States Congress are, 72% of Rhodes Scholars are, not bad. In other words, you've just entered a standard of leadership that has a concrete, measurable history, a legacy of honor, and it's now yours. So when you walk out of this building, remember that you are a Now a secret from my own experience. I'm going to make a little suggestion to you. When I was a little kid, the bobcat pen was a little device. You had to wear it upside down until you did your good deed for the day, and then you could turn it upside right. Does anybody else remember those? Ah, there's a couple of us who are bald eagles. <laughs> You turn it upside down when you did a good turn. So I think that one of the things that happens when you take the Eagle Scout Oath is this, that you promise that you're gonna be generous with your time and your talent and your treasure with as many people for as long as you can be because it's all about service and service is the price that we pray, that we pay for breathing air. It's something that we owe to one another. So be as kind and as generous with your time, talent, and treasure as you can. You never know what the long range effect of something positive that you do is gonna have on someone else. 
And it may come from remembering that you're a eagle. Then, because I'm on the board that distributes the NASA scholarship, the National Eagle Schol Association program, scholarship program, I'm going to urge you to apply, to make use of the program. And if you're a parent or a generous benefactor who would like to help us build the endowment that allows us to give scholarships, I'll welcome your check for that too. <laughs> but Eagle Scouts, remember, you may or may not get the award of a scholarship, but we can't give it to you if we don't know you need it. How's that for simple logic? I want to thank Aaron and Oscar for coming up and talking about Alpha Phi Omega. I have been the advisor to their chapter for 25 years. They are sensational. Any campus you go to is going to have an Alpha Phi Omega chapter. You will find a ready home there. Enjoy the ready home. You will find people of quality and commitment and values that match your own. And then as we get closer to this, Eagles, do you love scouting? If you love us, let us know. And let me know, let you know the secret to letting us know how much you love scouting. The secret is this. Find some young people who will benefit from what you benefited from. And invite them to become part of us. Because you now have tasted the possibilities that Baden Powell opened before us. And since you've tasted it, and since you know what it can do, show the power of your love by inviting others to come along and join us. Tell them the water's fine. Recruit a scout because it's the best experience they possibly can have. And maybe t they too can become an eagle. I salute you. You're terrific. Thank you for this honor.